Grade 6 Math Number 11.5 Quadrilaterals and Missing Angle Measures We just learned the sum of the interior measures of a triangle are 180 degrees. Well, the sum of the interior measures of a quadrilateral are 360. Do you know why? Because they're two triangles put together. 180 and 180 equals 360. It doesn't matter what the quadrilateral looks like if you split it down from cross vertices like that, you're going to find out that you've got two triangles. See in this blue one, the measures of angle 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, all the interior angles, if you add them all up together, they're going to total 360. So we can find the missing measure of a quadrilateral by addition and subtraction. We know the inside has got to be 360, so we can add together the 90 degree corner angle of B the 85 degree angle of angle C and the 58 degree angle of angle D and total them all up together and then take the total and subtract it from 360 and whatever's left over is the measure of angle A. See? We know the interior angles equal 360 degrees so we just add the known angle measures and subtract from the 360 and we've got the measure. Okay? Well there's several special types of quadrilaterals a parallelogram has opposite sides that are parallel and congruent. It's got two acute angles and two obtuse angles. See the two acute angles on opposite sides here? And the two obtuse ones are here. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. Same thing as this, except the angles are right angles. See? A rhombus is a parallelogram with four congruent sides. All the sides are the same length. They took the parallelogram and they squished it together, see? A square is a rectangle with four congruent sides, so it's like they took the rectangle and squished it together to make the square, see? And then the trapezoid is kind of out by itself. It's a quadrilateral with a pair of parallel sides, two parallel sides, but it can't be a parallelogram because the sides are not congruent. This side is not the same length as this side. See that? Those aren't congruent, and that's the rule. In order to be a parallelogram, the sides are parallel and congruent, the same length. These two sides are not the same length. This is a little short guy, and that's a real long guy. See? All right, so I've got my big green, my big orange box here, and out of 10 angles, we only have four measures. But we can find all the missing measures that are in here by using our rules of knowing that triangles are 180 degrees inside and rectangles are 360. So the only four measures we've got are that this is a 90 degree angle because we can see the box. We've got number six is 118 degrees and number seven is 80 degrees. And even though numbers nine and 10 is a 90 degree angle, we only have the measure for number 10. All right, so we know number one is 90. We know number 6 is 18, 118 and number 7 is 80. And we also know that number 10 is 28 degrees. So to find the measure for the rest of them, we have to do a little detective work. If we know this is 90 and that's 28, then we can find the measure of angle 2. 90 and 28 is 118. And we know that this is... Um, a straight line here, so we're going to use that afterwards, okay, to find these. So out of 118, we need to subtract that from 180. And we'll have the measure of angle 2. The measure of angle 2 is 62 degrees. So now, what other measure can we do? If we know that that's 62 degrees, is that going to help us? Well, not really, because we need another angle measure here to do this one. We do know that this is a 90 degree angle and that's 28, so we could do this one. So what is 90 minus 28? So we know that the measure of angle 9 is 62 degrees. See, we did 90 degrees minus 28, and it was 62. See? So now we've got 
those measures, well, if the measure of angle 7 is 80 degrees, and this is a straight line, straight lines are 180 degrees, aren't they? So the measure of angle 8 must be 100 degrees. And if this is 100 degrees and this is 62 degrees, that's 162. So what must the measure of angle 3 be? It's 18 degrees. See? So we now know the measure of angle 3 is 18. See? All right. So if this is 62 and this is 18, what is angle 4? Ah, we know a straight line is 180. So we can do 62 and 18 is 80 degrees. And if a straight line is 180, number 4 must be 100. The only angle measure we don't have now is number 5. And we've got number 4, number 7, and number 6. So for this quadrilateral to be 360 degrees, we can find it. We just add the 100, the 118, and the 80. And we have 298. Quadrilaterals of 360 degrees minus 298, that's 62 degrees. So the measure of angle 5 is 62 degrees. We've got them all now, don't we? Look at that. We've got all the measures now, and we only had four to begin with. But by using our rules of a straight angle is 180 degrees, and supplementary angles total 180 degrees, and complementary angles total 90 degrees, and the interior of a triangle is 180, and the interior of a quadrilateral is 360, we were able to find all those missing six measures. See? Detective work. You can do this too. Just remember the rules that we'd learned, okay? Complementary angles total 90, supplementary angles total 180, perpendicular right angles are... Um, 90, straight angles are 180, okay? And you can figure this out. Triangles are 180 and quadrilaterals are 360. And you can add and subtract and figure out your own missing measures, okay? You can do it. I know you can. This is really easy. See you next video. Bye.